Hello Immortal News family, and welcome back to our channel. In the last 24 hours, we mourn the passing of Annie Nightingale, April Ferry, Edward J. Epstein among others, each leaving a unique legacy in their fields. Before we start, we kindly ask for your support. If this video or the legacies of these remarkable individuals have touched your life, please consider giving this video a thumbs up as a sign of respect and remembrance. Thank you. Number 4. Annie Nightingale, a pioneering figure in British broadcasting and the first female presenter on BBC Radio 1, has left a lasting mark on the world of music and radio. She passed away at the age of 83, leaving behind a legacy that spans over five decades of dedication, passion, and trailblazing achievements in the music industry. Her journey with BBC Radio 1 began in 1970, and she quickly established herself as a dynamic force, becoming a beacon of inspiration for a generation of music enthusiasts. Her career was characterized by an unquenchable passion for a diverse range of music genres, from prog rock and punk to acid house and grime. Her show, Annie Nightingale Presents, showcased her ability to stay ahead of music trends, earning her a place in the hearts of listeners across multiple generations. Beyond radio, Nightingale's influence extended to television, where she co-hosted the renowned BBC Two music show, The Old Grey Whistle Test, further cementing her status as a leading voice in music broadcasting. Her impact was recognized by peers and fans alike, with tributes pouring in from industry stalwarts who hailed her as a spirited, adventurous, and fearless icon. Despite her passing, Nightingale's legacy continues to resonate. Her groundbreaking role as a female broadcaster in a male-dominated industry opened doors for countless women in the media. Her relentless pursuit of new music and emerging talent made her a beloved figure, earning her the admiration and respect of listeners and artists worldwide. Annie Nightingale's life was a celebration of music and broadcasting excellence. She will be remembered not just for her contributions to radio and television, but also for her role as a pioneer who inspired and paved the way for future generations. Her passion, dedication, and indomitable spirit will continue to inspire those in the industry and beyond. Tribute to Annie Nightingale Number 3. April Ferry, the Oscar-nominated and Emmy-winning costume designer celebrated for her work in iconic films and TV series, passed away at 91. She left an unforgettable mark on the entertainment industry with her exceptional talent and vision. Her journey in costume design began after a successful stint as a dancer in the Broadway production of Kismet. Her passion for costume design was ignited, leading her to a career that spanned several decades. Starting as a wardrobe mistress on The Dean Martin Show, she eventually made her way into films, working on projects like The Rose and The Jerk. Ferry's breakthrough as a costume designer came with Lawrence Kasdan's The Big Chill, establishing her as a significant figure in the industry. Her collaboration with directors like John Hughes and Jonathan Mostow showcased her versatility, working on films ranging from Planes, Trains and Automobiles to Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines. Her Academy Award nomination for Maverick highlighted her talent in costume design, while her Emmy win for HBO's Rome attested to her excellence in crafting period costumes. Ferry's work in Rome was notable for its detailed and authentic designs, earning her two Costume Designers Guild Awards. Her influence extended to the cult classic Big Trouble in Little China, where her opulent costumes became a visual hallmark of the film. She joined Game of Thrones in its sixth season, further cementing her legacy in popular culture. With a career that included work on Donnie Darko, Elysium, Robocop, and Jurassic World, Ferry demonstrated a unique ability to adapt and innovate. Her passion for her craft and her groundbreaking achievements opened doors for future generations of costume designers. April Ferry's legacy as a pioneering costume designer, who brought stories to life through her creations, will continue to inspire. Her work not only defined characters, 
but also left a lasting impact on the visual language of cinema and television. Tribute to April Ferry Number 2. Pierre Melot, known widely as Doc Melot, a prominent Quebec psychiatrist and radio host, passed away peacefully at the age of 74 after battling an incurable illness. His life, marked by a blend of professional accomplishments and public engagement, leaves a distinct imprint on the fields of psychiatry and media. Born in Saguenay-Lac-Saint-Jean, his academic journey in medicine began at Université Laval, followed by a specialization in psychiatry at McGill University. His early career was characterized by his service as a psychiatrist in the Canadian Armed Forces, where he also offered expert testimony in numerous trials, demonstrating his deep understanding and expertise in his field. In 1995, Melu embarked on a new path as a radio host with CCAC, marking the beginning of a long and notable presence in the public eye. His radio career, spanning several years, showcased his unique ability to engage with a wide audience, bringing psychiatric perspectives to the forefront of public discourse. His contributions to the discussions on various social and psychological issues remained a significant part of his legacy. His voice on the airwaves became a familiar presence, stirring debates and conversations on a range of topics. The family's request for privacy in this time of loss is a reminder of the personal side of public figures, and the human stories behind their professional personas. As the family and friends of Dr. Pierre Melot mourn his passing, they also celebrate the impact he had on many lives through his work in psychiatry and his time on the airwaves. Tribute to Dr. Pierre Melot. Today's top headlines, News 1. Michael Stein, a renowned dancer known for his work on Britney Spears' Piece of Me tour, passed away on December 23rd at the age of 32. His passing was publicly announced today. His career was highlighted by his role as the dance captain on Spears' 2018 tour and performances during her Las Vegas residency. He also worked with notable artists like Kylie Minogue, Dove Cameron, and Little Mix and made appearances on TV shows such as Glee, American Idol, and America's Got Talent. Yee's tribute reflected on their decade-long relationship, filled with adventure, laughter, and shared dreams in Los Angeles. She admired Stein's passion for the industry and his unwavering dedication, promising to honor his memory by continuing to fight for their shared dreams. News 2, Russell Hamler, the last known member of the World War II Jungle Fighting Unit Merrill's Marauders has passed away at 99. Hamler enlisted in the Army at 18 and served in the 5307th Composite Unit Provisional. This unit embarked on a challenging 1,000-mile mission through the jungles of Burma, now Myanmar, fighting against Japanese forces. The Marauders, known for their resilience and bravery, were crucial in capturing the strategic Mitkina airfield achieving a significant victory for the Allies. The unit started with 3,000 soldiers, but only around 200 remained combat-ready by the end of their mission. Hamler was wounded in battle and later received the Bronze Star and Purple Heart for his service. After the war, he worked as an aircraft mechanic for Transworld Airlines until his retirement in 1985. News 3. Frantisek Januc, a Czech nuclear physicist and champion of human rights, passed away at 92 in Stockholm, Sweden. He established the Charter 77 Foundation, which played a critical role in supporting the Czechoslovakian dissident movement against the communist regime. Januk, born on September 22, 1931, in Lisa nad Labem, near Prague, was a prominent figure in nuclear physics. He worked at the Czechoslovak Academy of Sciences and was a professor at Charles University. Moving to Sweden in 1974, Janusz continued his fight for freedom from afar. He launched the Charter 77 Foundation in December 1978, 
to support the signatories of the Human Rights Manifesto, co-drafted by Vaclav Havel, facing severe persecution from the authorities. The Foundation's efforts included smuggling banned literature and equipment into Czechoslovakia, enabling the publication of works by prohibited authors. After the fall of communism in 1989, the Foundation shifted its focus to various charitable endeavors. Czech Prime Minister Peter Fiala recognized Janusz's significant contribution to the country's return to freedom. News 4. Famous rapper Professor Green, real name Steven Manderson, has bravely shared his emotional health journey with his 878,000 Instagram followers, revealing his battle with pyloric stenosis. This condition, which affects the passage between the stomach and small bowel, has troubled him since birth, causing severe digestive issues and pain. At just a newborn, Manderson underwent his first stomach operation for this condition. Despite an unsuccessful surgery at six weeks old, he persevered through life's challenges, often feeling misunderstood and blamed for his health struggles. However, his recent keyhole surgery marks a turning point in his lifelong battle. Manderson's heartfelt update conveys his relief and optimism, expressing gratitude for finally understanding and addressing his condition. His recovery process includes a four-week liquid diet and a planned fecal matter transplant in February. His resilience and determination to overcome this health obstacle have inspired many. Professor Green looks forward to a future free from constant discomfort and is eager to embrace life with newfound vigor and health. News 5. Ted Blunt, the revered former Wilmington City Council president, has passed away at age 80. A respected educator and political figure, Blunt's death was announced by his family, who were by his side. His legacy spans a distinguished 24-year tenure on the Wilmington City Council, including serving as council president. Blunt, father of Congresswoman Lisa Blunt Rochester, is remembered for his impactful contributions to education and local governance. The Wilmington City Council honored him for extending community center operations and supporting elementary schools. U.S. Senator Chris Coons lauded Blunt's balanced approach to politics and family, acknowledging his enduring impact on Wilmington's underserved neighborhoods. Survived by his wife Alice, brother John, and three daughters, Blunt's commitment to his city and family leaves a memorable mark on the community. News 6. David Marsh, father of actress and broadcaster Kim Marsh, has passed away after a long battle with prostate cancer. Kim, known for her roles in Coronation Street and as a member of Hearsay, had previously shared her father's diagnosis in 2021. The family, in a statement, announced his peaceful passing at home and requested privacy during this difficult time. Kim had taken a break from BBC One's Morning Live in 2021 due to the stress of her father's illness. She later participated in Strictly Come Dancing in 2022, dedicating her performance to her father. The Marsh family has been open about David's health struggles emphasizing the importance of regular health checks, especially during the pandemic. News 7. Jordan Miller, the younger brother of the Lost Boys star Jason Patrick, tragically passed away at the age of 56 after being struck by a bus in Fort Lee, New Jersey. The accident occurred on Wednesday afternoon when Miller was hit by a New Jersey transit bus making a left turn. Despite being rushed to the hospital in critical condition, he succumbed to his injuries. Jordan Miller worked as a customer service representative at the Port Authority bus terminal in Midtown Manhattan. His older brother, Jason Patrick, is a renowned actor recognized for his performances in films such as The Lost Boys, Rush, Sleepers, and Speed 2, Cruise Control. The family of Jordan Miller is in mourning and representatives for Jason Patrick have declined to comment on the incident. The Fort Lee Police Department is currently investigating the circumstances surrounding the accident. News 8. Rising MMA and Muay Thai talent Fariyar Aminipur, age 23, tragically passed away in a motorcycle accident in Phuket, Thailand. The accident occurred in a tunnel on Chaiofa West Road, where Aminipur suffered a severe head injury. Despite immediate medical attention at Chelong Hospital, he did not survive. The local police, led by Lt. Col. Wiria Fong Srinuanpan, are investigating the solo crash. Aminipur's gym, Tiger Muay Thai, mourned the loss of this lion-hearted athlete who joined them in late 2022 and quickly rose to prominence in the professional Muay Thai world, achieving a top-10 ranking. 
Aminapur had a promising career in the one championship, winning four of his first five matches. His gym remembers him as a potential world champion whose life and career were cut short far too soon. News 9. Ernest Marquez, a notable Santa Monica historian and descendant of Rancho owners, passed away at 99 due to a brief illness. A self-taught historian, Marquez published significant works including Santa Monica Beach, focusing on the area's rich history and his family's legacy. He served in the U.S. Navy during World War II, later pursuing a career as a magazine cartoonist before dedicating himself to history. Marquez notably fought to preserve a family cemetery from the 1840s, ensuring its status as a historic cultural monument in Los Angeles. His efforts included designing grave markers, maintaining the cemetery's integrity as a historic site. His ashes will be interred in the family cemetery he worked to preserve, symbolizing his lifelong commitment to history and heritage. He leaves behind a legacy through his children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren, as well as through the historical insights he provided. News 10. Kate Beckinsale, the renowned actress, recently shared a concerning health update after she had to abruptly leave the Golden Globes for a hospital visit. While dressed in her gala attire, Beckinsale posted pictures from the hospital with her family, sparking curiosity and concern among her followers. The situation appears to be linked to her stepfather, Roy Battersby, as she responded to a comment acknowledging the challenges she faced during the awards ceremony due to her family situation. Two days later, Beckinsale posted a black square on her Instagram, leading to widespread speculation about Battersby's health. Many fans expressed condolences, seemingly confirming their concerns about Battersby's condition. Kate Beckinsale has a daughter, Lily Mo Sheen, from her previous relationship with actor Michael Sheen. She was also married to film director Len Wiseman, but their marriage ended in divorce. News 11. Mark Doyle, a renowned musician known for his collaborations with iconic figures in the music industry, has unexpectedly passed away. His sudden demise was discovered late Thursday night when friends found him unresponsive at his home. This followed concern from his best friend, Angela Wright Nielsen, after Doyle didn't reply to her text message. His musical journey was illustrious, having played with numerous bands, including that of the legendary Little Richard. He was also known for his performances with other greats such as Tina Turner, Jerry Lee Lewis, and Chuck Berry. His versatility extended to jazz, where he shared the stage with George Duke. The Vicksburg Daily News, while mourning this loss, celebrates Doyle's life by sharing memorable photographs of him with these music legends. The news of his funeral arrangements is still pending, Mark Doyle's legacy in music and his personal charisma will be fondly remembered. News 12. Leon Wilds, a distinguished immigration lawyer known for his critical role in preventing John Lennon's deportation in the 1970s, has passed away at 90. Wilds died after suffering a series of strokes. He successfully fought for Lennon to receive permanent U.S. residency, a battle that became a significant chapter in both music and political history. Wilds's career included presidency of the American Immigration Lawyers Association and co-founding Wilds and Weinberg. His work with Lenin revealed the prosecutorial discretion in immigration law, impacting future cases like President Obama's DACA program. Wilds, a dedicated teacher and author, left a legacy that extends beyond Lenin's case, influencing immigration law and practices. News 13. Lincoln University in Missouri is currently undergoing scrutiny following the recent passing of their Vice President of Student Affairs, Antoinette Bonnie Candia Bailey. University President John Mosley voluntarily opted for paid leave to allow an independent review of personnel issues and mental health concerns. This decision comes as students and alumni expressed concerns after Candia Bailey's departure. The university's board emphasized their commitment to prioritizing the mental well-being of employees, treating everyone with dignity and respect. Candia Bailey's role was vital in the university, starting on May 1st, and her passing at the age of 49 has deeply affected the community. Her family shared that she felt unsupported in her position, leading to challenging times. As the university community comes to terms with this loss, there's a collective call for new leadership and a focus on healing and institutional care. Candia Bailey, 
remembered fondly by many, leaves behind a legacy of dedication and advocacy for Lincoln University, her alma mater. Number 1. Edward J. Epstein, a renowned American investigative journalist and political science professor, passed away on January 9th at the age of 88. Born in New York City on December 6, 1935, Epstein carved out a distinguished career that spanned across academia and journalism, leaving a lasting impact through his meticulous research and insightful writings. His academic journey began at Cornell University, where he earned both a Bachelor and Master of Arts in Government. His pursuit of truth and political understanding led him to Harvard University, where he completed his PhD in Government. He briefly taught at esteemed institutions such as Harvard University, UCLA, and MIT, imparting his knowledge to a generation of students. A notable contribution to journalism was Epstein's expose of the diamond industry in The Rise and Fall of Diamonds, which laid bare the economic and social impacts of the industry in Southern Africa. His investigative work in Have You Ever Tried to Sell a Diamond revealed the extensive marketing strategies employed by diamond companies, particularly De Beers, transforming diamonds into coveted luxury items. His life and work were captured in the documentary Hall of Mirrors, directed by Ina and Ines Talakic, premiered at the New York Film Festival. This film highlighted his significant contributions to investigative journalism, including his inquiries into Edward Snowden's leak of classified documents. Edward J. Epstein's death marks the loss of a brilliant mind and a fearless journalist. His relentless pursuit of truth and commitment to uncovering the complexities of political and social issues have left an unforgettable mark on journalism and academia. His legacy as a pioneer in investigative journalism will continue to inspire future generations. Tribute to Edward J. Epstein.